Nina Falk, a well-known actress, became famous for her great acting in many movies. She didn't just entertain people on screen, she also inspired many with her talent and hard work. Everyone may have different memories of her, but her influence is strong. Share your favorite memories or stories about how she affected your life below. We'll also share interesting facts about her in this video. Keep watching to learn more. Nina Falk, known for her roles in classic films, has a filmography spanning various genres. For newcomers to her work, starting with must-watch movies is a great idea. Some of her notable projects include An American in Paris, a musical classic where she played the role of Milo Roberts, and Spartacus, a historical epic in which she portrayed Helena Glavris. Another must-watch is Executive Suite, a gripping drama where she starred as Erica Martin. My Name is Julia Ross is a suspenseful thriller featuring Nina Fosh as the title character Julia Ross. These films showcase her versatility and talent. For those new to her work, these films provide a glimpse into Nina Fox's acting prowess and range. Whether you're a fan of musicals, historical dramas, or suspense thrillers, there's something in her filmography for everyone to enjoy. In the movie Scaramouch, she played Marie Antoinette and wore the same dress from an older movie, which was a big deal in film history. Her acting showed how talented she was. In another movie called My Name is Julia Ross, she played a character named Julia Ross. In an interview from 1988, she made a funny comment about another actor being related to someone surprising. She learned acting at the Stella Adler Studio of Acting, which helped her play different roles well. People all over the world still love the movies she was in. She was really good at acting, and she influenced a lot of actors today. She was an amazing actor, and her work shows that this text was... In executive suite, Nina Fosh played Erica Martin. At first, she wasn't happy with her small role, but director Robert Wise encouraged her to do her best. Surprisingly, she got nominated for an Academy Award for her performance. In an interview, Fosh said she thought her character needed something special, a pencil given by Bullard, which she wore throughout the movie. Wise appreciated her dedication and even got the pencil engraved for her. Besides acting, Fosh also helped out behind the scenes. She advised director Peter Horton and coached actors, although she didn't get credited for it. Her contributions made the movie better and showed her talents both in front of and behind the camera. Nina Falk, a famous actress, made a big impression not just in movies, but also in teaching. She taught at Usk School of Cinematic Arts for 40 years, sharing her knowledge and love for acting. Her role as Bethiah in The Ten Commandments made her famous. Even though other actresses were interested, she got the role because of Henry Wilcoxon's recommendation. Apart from the Ten Commandments, she acted with Edward G. Robinson in Illegal, showing her skills and range as an actress. Sadly, she fell ill while teaching and passed away because of a blood disorder. Nina Fox's impact on movies and education is remembered fondly. She made a big difference and people are grateful for her. She'll always be remembered with respect and thanks. In a 1999 interview for TCM, Nina Falk, known for her role as Harriet Hobson in the film Johnny O'Clock, hinted that someone else might have directed the movie instead of Robert Rosson. She didn't say who it was, leaving fans curious. Fosh wasn't just an actress, she also received an award from the Maryland State Council of the American Jewish Congress for her role in the Ten Commandments. Despite playing important roles alongside Charlton Heston, Yul Brynner, and Cedric Hardwick in the film, she was actually younger than Heston by a year, Brynner by four years, and Hardwick by 31 years. These details show Fox talent and the depth she brought to her roles. Her impact on the industry is still remembered today. In the movie An American in Paris, Milo Roberts was portrayed by Nina Fox. At first, the director, Vincent Minnelli, thought about having Maurice Chevalier play Henry Borel. However, Chevalier had been away from America for a long time and wasn't interested in a smaller role. So, Minnelli thought about Celeste home for Milo Roberts until Nina Falk, who was under contract, impressed him with her audition and got the part. In Italy, various actresses provided the Italian voiceovers for Nina Fox movies. Rosetta Calavetta was the primary dubber, while Lydia Simonski dubbed her in My Name is Julia Ross, Rena Morley in The Ten Commandments and Giovanna Scotto in other films. Nina Fosch had a son named Dr. Dirk DeBrito with her second husband, Dennis DeBrito. Nina Fosch portrayed the character Bethiah in the film The Ten Commandments. In 1960, she was among the 12 credited cast members honored with stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. 
Notably, this list included actors such as Charlton Heston, Yul Brynner, Ann Baxter, and others. She was the ex-daughter-in-law of Lawrence Lipton. In the Ten Commandments, several cast members had notable achievements. Four had been previously nominated for Academy Awards Ann Baxter, Nina Fock, Martha Scott, and Judith Anderson. Post the film's release, three cast members went on to win Academy Awards Yul Brynner, Charlton Heston, and Edward G. Robinson. The film boasted a talented cast with four Oscar winners and three nominees among them. It remains a significant milestone in the careers of many involved. A respected graduate of the AADA, she finished her studies in 1942. Then, in 1968, she played the victim in the first episode of Lieutenant Columbo called Prescription Murder. Her last name, which sounds like gosh, became linked with mystery because she was the first to meet the TV detective. Her acting in that role really stood out in TV history. She added depth and interest to the series, leading to many exciting episodes. She showed her talent and flexibility, leaving a strong impression on audiences worldwide. What she did continues to encourage new actors and entertainers today. In 1954, when filming began for the Ten Commandments, Paramount Pictures had mostly stopped signing actors to exclusive contracts. One exception was Nina Falk, who was under contract with Columbia Pictures and was cast as Bethire in the movie. Most of the other stars, like Charlton Heston and John Derrick, were not under contracts with Paramount. They belonged to other big studios like 20th Century Fox, Warner Brothers, and Universal Pictures. At that time, Hollywood was changing because of the growing influence of television, which led to studios moving away from having exclusive contract players. The cast of the Ten Commandments included actors from various studios, Ann Baxter, Deborah Paget, and Vincent Price from 20th Century Fox, Edward G. Robinson from Warner Brothers, and Yvonne De Carlo from Universal Pictures. Nina Fock from Columbia Pictures was part of this diverse lineup. In 2020, Nina Fosch was honored posthumously during the Turner Classic Movies Summer Under the Stars on August 15, celebrating her extensive career in film. In the years after the Ten Commandments, Yvonne DiCarlo passed away in 27, followed by Charlton Heston in April 2008 and Nina Fosch in December 2008. It's interesting to note that all three actors lived to be 84 years old. Nina Fox's work continues to be remembered through her movies, and the tribute on Turner Classic Movies shows how she left her mark on the film industry. Nina Falk, known for her diverse performances, played Milo Roberts in the classic film An American in Paris. While filming, she faced an unexpected challenge contracting chickenpox. Despite this setback, she showed resilience by returning to the set promptly after recovery. However, the aftermath of the illness left its mark as makeup artists had to conceal the pockmarks on her skin. Moving to another memorable role, Fosh appeared as Bethia in The Ten Commandments. An interesting aspect of her role was her on-screen relationship with Charlton Heston, who portrayed her son despite her being a year younger. This unique dynamic added an interesting layer to their on-screen chemistry, captivating audiences worldwide. Beyond her on-screen career, Nina Fosh shared a strong connection with her husband, James Lipton. Together, they formed a lasting bond with the legendary Diana Ross, stemming from their collaboration on the film Mahogany in 1975. This friendship went beyond the silver screen and during the passage of time and enriching their lives. In summary, Nina Fox's impact on the world of cinema was significant, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and colleagues alike. Her talent, resilience, and lasting friendships are a testament to her influence in the film industry.